Whenever I think of Grand Theft Auto, numerous memories flood my mind. The countless hours I poured into GTA 3 when the open world genre was redefined, the hours I spent slashing people with a katana on a beach in Vice City, exploring San Andreas and doing everything the game had to offer, and even taking a helicopter in GTA 4 and looking over beautiful Liberty City at night. Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto 5 is now here, and the series has once again installed incredible memories in my mind that I won't soon forget. Yeah, hey, 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 whoa, back off there, cowboy. I know my constitutional rights. Anyway, I know you're coming here to suck cock, so it's all right. What the fuck you talking about? Wow, hey, look, I saw a quarterback blues, man. And, you know, some of those older records of yours, even they sound a little bit closeted, I'm just saying. What? Grand Theft Auto V brings us back to a reimagined San Andreas, mostly detailing real-life Southern California in the form of Los Santos, which mimics Los Angeles. For the first time, the series now features three playable characters, Michael, Trevor, and Franklin. Each of these characters encompasses a certain stereotype. Michael's the rich, retired bank robber living in the fake Beverly Hills, Franklin is a lower-class gangster living in downtown LS looking for a big break, and Trevor is the crazy hillbilly type living in Blaine County. They're completely different, yet they work together so well. The story for Grand Theft Auto V has some odd pacing. It's almost as if there's three mini-stories. It's like something starts, then ends. Starts, then ends. There's no plot point that is introduced from the start that makes a grand finale at the end. That's not to say the story is bad, it's just a little bit convoluted. You may forget important plot points and characters when they go missing for so long while another story unfolds. While it does feel convoluted, what's there can be very compelling. In short, Michael and Trevor are longtime bank robbers who reunite after a certain discovery about Michael. Franklin acts as a younger protege who just happened to stumble into Michael's life. The three come together to pull off heists and odd jobs relating to many different scenarios. Much like past GTAs, it's a long campaign, but GTA 5 has so much more in place to make this a far more compelling experience than past entries. Michael, Trevor, and Franklin really bring it home. They deliver some amazing dialogue, and with each character having such a distinct personality, they tend to butt heads a lot in numerous convincing ways. It never feels forced for a long car ride or a cutscene, it feels real. I never really favored one character over the other because they all shined. There's also a great round of supporting characters as well. The voice talent and writing is just superb. Couple this dialogue with varied missions and improved gameplay and you've got a compelling story. While GTA 5 does feature those casual go here and do this missions, it spaces them out well enough and fills it with more diverse tasks. Heist missions are what shine in GTA 5. There isn't as many as what was perceived, but they're a blast to play. You choose which way you want to handle them and with which people. They always make you feel like you're living a movie. Ah! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment! Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing on the floor now! GTA 5 takes a big step forward in gameplay from past entries, one major change being the weapon wheel. This is a much needed mechanic for the game, and it fits so well here. There's also a wheel for the radio stations, which again, feels so easy to use. It makes past Grand Theft Autos feel so dated. Stats have also returned, allowing you to improve your driving, your stamina, your strength, and so on. Another welcome addition is regenerative health, which only heals you to about 50% health if you happen to dip below that. Another new addition is special abilities. Each character has a different one. Franklin can slow down his driving, Michael can slow down shootouts, and Trevor can get increased bullet damage. Just another nice touch which adds more diversity to who you play as and the situations you may find yourself in. There's just improvements all around. In GTA 4, one step backwards in that entry was the lack of things to see and do. When you're not on a mission, you can be rest assured that there are more activities for you to take part in. Past activities like strip clubs and hanging out with friends is still here, but now you've also got tennis, golf, the movies, triathlons, races, base jumping, and more. The return of crazy vehicles are here too. You've got a great variety of cars, but also helicopters, military vehicles, and planes. It's also worth noting that you can once again customize all your vehicles too. It's a step back in the right direction, building an incredible world with things to do. Speaking of which, Los Santos is gorgeous. The whole game looks phenomenal, and it's insane that it looks as good as it does on platforms over 7 years old. The world is large, with varied environments. You've got beaches, a city, mountains, the desert, it's all there. Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh! I love it! I, I gotta remember to write that down. And to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff, whoa, pure magic. They should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? 
You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> if there's one thing about GTA 5 that really strikes a chord with me, it's the authenticity. Los Santos very much feels like Los Angeles. For example, it blew my mind that Rockstar included fine line black and gray tattoos in the game, something LA is well known for, something I went to LA for to get on my own body. But it's not just the setting, it's the characters too. For example, Franklin and Lamar, they're two young black males living in lower class, low income houses. Lamar tends to have a materialistic mindset. Everyone there will swear and overuse expletives. This is the reality of many cities in America, and it's not that Rockstar is promoting crime or this lifestyle or this racism and hate. It's the story they're trying to tell, much like any other medium, and I love that they execute it with the authenticity of how these different cultures actually live. It's a prime example of why I find video games to be a superior medium, and when a game has such an example in it, it's a great achievement. While there is a lot to appreciate for the realism, GTA V still features a lot of humor and satire, poking fun at current events in pop culture, which always pulls a laugh. The iFruit phone, the drone phone, the Facebook ripoff, the Call of Duty ripoff, making fun of cloud technology, it's, it's all there and it's hilarious. Now authenticity may be a key word here, but another would be detail, because there is a lot of it. I mean a lot of detail. So much so that you may not even notice 20% of it, but it's something special when you finally spot it. Like when I blew all my money on a tricked out car, for a pedestrian to then compliment me on it and then take a picture of it with his camera phone. Or when I smashed my car into a house at night and the lights turned on and I heard people inside waking up. There are many more instances of this that I can't even begin to explain. There's honestly so much to say about Grand Theft Auto V. The inclusion of underwater exploration, the internet on your phone, the wild animals, Rockstar's social club integration, and all the other included detail. But without a doubt, Grand Theft Auto V is incredible. Yes, the game has issues. In fact, you could probably spot a lot of them. It is a giant game, and perfection can never truly be reached. And it wouldn't surprise me if six months down the line, the game's flaws start being analyzed, and it starts being deemed not so incredible. But GTA V is undeniably good at so many other things. It truly outshines its lesser moments. Remember, a review is just one guy's opinion, and what I say shouldn't dictate how you feel. Though I myself can say with the utmost confidence that Grand Theft Auto V is sublime.